On number seven, we're told that BT, so this whole side, is congruent to EU, that whole side. So that's one given. So BT congruent to EU. And that's given. And we're told that BU is congruent to ET. So these two are the same. And we're trying to get that angle B is congruent to angle U. And some of you want to prove the two triangles that are um, drawn out for you as congruent. But that doesn't actually help you, and it's not actually possible. Because even if you get those vertical angles, you're still not going to have enough info because you don't have the parts of the sides, right? The whole black line and the whole red line are equal to each other, but we don't know where they cross. So instead, I'm going to draw an extra line. And I'm going to say that UT is congruent to UT. Because it's the same side or the reflexive property. You're allowed to add stuff to your pictures as long as it's not, like, crazy. Like, I wouldn't go in and draw, like, a circle over here or, like, anything weird like that. But if it's an extra side or a straight line, yeah, go ahead and add that. I have three parts now. I have side, side, side. So I can say triangle BTU is congruent to triangle EUT. I used side, side, side there. My last step then is angle B is congruent to angle E by CPCTC.